is Jim Lair. I think this next segment is one that really is important to all Americans. How are we going to integrate more North Indian music and South Indian music into American culture? We're at a point right now where our whole world and country is messed up fiscally, financially, every other way, and the only really way to bring it together, we all know, is through Indian music. So each of you have a different approach on how to do this. I'd like to hear your approaches now. Well, thank you, Jim. I think American people do deserve proper Indian music, and uh, whether it be North or South. I myself uh, am deeply loving Tiaga Raja, as well as North Indian traditions, South Indian traditions, and uh, what we're seeing here is that the Republicans don't have a strong grasp of the Raga. Republicans don't really even care about developing the Raga properly. If you look at how they sing Rag Darbury Kannada, they're almost totally ignoring that Ga Ma Re or the Da Ni Pa. Those are two important phrases in Darbury Kannada. And to just ignore them totally as the Republicans have in their recent performances, we, we, we can't have this. If we're going to be a nation that heals itself through Indian music, it's got to be good Indian music. It's got to be properly done. The proper renditions have to be done. Otherwise, What's the point? We might as well just go back to, uh, you know, just low-class rock. Now, I'm not saying that uh, it has to be that way, because, but what I'm saying is that if you just take a casual approach, uh, and you, we've even seen the Republicans mixing up North and South Indian music in very bad ways. Now, I'm not saying North and South Indian music can't be mixed, but it should be done in the framework, in the type of framework, where people have studied each tradition deeply. Then you can mix them. But to just go ahead and mix them without having studied each one deeply is, I believe, a wrong approach. And again, I'm the one who was there uh, supporting the Bonsuri, for instance, back when the Bonsuri wasn't even that important. You know, we saw Palinal Ghosh way back in the 60s coming out, and then uh, finally Hari Prasad really bring the Bonsuri forth. I was the one, always, who's been supporting Bonsuri. That's why my budget has $17.5 billion going towards Bonsuri players, because that's the type of thing our country needs. Bonsuri players just playing that music all the time, it's going to calm everyone down. All our fiscal problems are going to be a lot better off. It's going to be a lot better situation. But again, Republicans refuse to acknowledge this. They're going more towards, you know, some of the more mo type of movie music that we see from India. I'm not against some nice movie themes here and there, but we need to get back to the classical traditions. The classical traditions are where we're going to have the deepest effect in our country, and Lord knows we need it especially the Republicans need it. And I think uh, Mitt Romney is a good example of someone. Well, I, let's, let's not go too far with that, Barack. Uh, okay, I admit I'm not a very good singer. and I don't know Rog Darbury Canada, that's true. But that's not the true measure here of what, uh, you know, of bringing in Indian music here. And let's, let's also be clear that a lot of the movie music is based on ragas. So if you want to go back to the basics here, uh, I'm, I'm the man. Okay, first of all, Barack Obama has totally ignored the percussion uh, branch. Okay, he has, he, I, I will admit, he's very strong on the ragas, but does he, you know, uh, how's, how's his titikata gada gena da? How's his dadi gay not home? Those are things that need to be looked at because uh, we're, we're a country really right now. I mean, the past four years, there's been just total ignorance of the Indian rhythms going on here. And I'm the one who can bring that back because I have been, in Massachusetts, I worked on pakawash, I worked on tabla, I worked on gatam, I played many, many different instruments. I'm the one who understands percussion, Indian percussion particularly. I'm the one who knows how to really get down with aditala. I'm, I'm talking about takadimi, takajuna, takadimi, takajuna, where it really grooves. Now, Barack Obama, he wants to talk about Darbury Canada all day long. I'm not against Darbury Canada. I'm all for Darbury Canada. I'm for Ahir Barab. I'm for Jinjoti, all the different ragas. But Let's face it, if you don't have a good rhythmic percussion going on, it doesn't matter how nice the raga is. If a tabla player comes in and messes it up, or a gata messes up the rhythm, you're not going to have the proper rendition of Indian music. So sure, I'm for the ragas, I'm for all that, but I am not for ignoring the rhythmic part of this. And this is what Barack is 
uh, where he's really gotten weak with the whole Democratic Party. They are weak in rhythm. They are weak in uh, different talas. I know how to play in seven. I know how to play in nine, fifteen. I can play matatal. I can play eight and a half, five and a quarter. You name it, I can play it. Barack cannot say that. Okay, he just wants to talk about Darbury Canada all day long. Well, let me tell you, there's a lot more to Indian music than just Darbury Canada. Yes, that's a good thing, but we need more than that. America expects. Okay, well, you clearly have different approaches. One going more towards the rhythm, one more towards the ragas. Is there some common ground here that we can find, that we can play? Again, I just want to say that Barack Obama, he's a, you know, he's, I like his vocals. I certainly have appreciated his vocals. I'm just trying to say America wants more than that. America needs more than that. We have to have the proper rhythms to go along with all these ragas. Otherwise, the ragas are not going to have their full effect. So, dadi ge natom, titikata gadi ge nada. I will make these common phrases in American culture. I will make sure all of us know the rhythms really well. Because without the rhythms, you know, let's just face it, the raga is going to waste. Now, I'm not saying some alap is not good here and there. But, in general, we need some more rhythm. I'm the one to do it. I'm the one who understands this. I will do it. I will bring together North and South. North and South will come together to me. We'll have a better country with greater Indian music.